think, welcome back to Drive Time with Steven. Sorry, it's shaky as hell right now. I want to know one of the reasons why, maybe this is no new, this is no news to anybody else. But I think it's a valid point to bring it up. The reason they're making such a huge annoyance about everything, you got to wear your mask everywhere. You got to be contact traced. You got to stand six feet away. We got to actually take your temperature when you walk in. You got to wear a mask when you walk into our, our place of business. We're going to put plexiglass up between everything else. Uh, we're where we go when we go all we're safer better together I, I mixed that together I apologize but it's like we're, uh, we're we're all in this together kind of a thing that's the messaging of this draconian and then the dr- draconian bullshit authoritarian agenda that's being pushed on us and then you have the the ones the message of the patriots is where we go when we go all and then you have the message of the Democrats it's like we're united better together stronger together right interestingly enough, all of those agendas uh, rotate around kind of the same theme of saying. But here's my point. They're making it super duper uber difficult on you and uncomfortable and constantly pounding you. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. This is the new normal until we get a vaccine. This is the new norm. We're not going back to normal until we get a vaccine. Yeah. Even though we have not tested um, but a fraction of the United States. Right, even though we've called all the deaths that have happened to this point, a large, large, large percentage of those anybody who died, if they had died of a heart attack, but they tested positive for COVID nineteen, they died of COVID nineteen, not the heart attack. Even though ninety seven percent people get better from this, we are changing everything. Our entire way of life is changing. Our entire way of life is changing. They are programming you to accept the new normal. Wear a mask, stay six feet away. No facial expressions. Can't touch people. Don't hug. You need to realize this is a very, very scary disease. As I just said before, it has killed almost 100,000 people. And out of those 100,000 people, probably half of them, um, it didn't really kill. But we still got to pretend like it killed that many people. We don't know how many people really have it in America because we've only tested a fraction, 250,000 maybe, or maybe it's a few thousand more than that. Less, not that many. Or excuse me, 2 million or something like that. I don't know. It's a fraction of the people of America that we've tested. A fraction. But we've got to freak out. We have got to keep you annoyed, keep you programmed, put it on billboards, put it on, you know, uh, um, the, 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 you know, the, the light up things on the highway, the whatever you call them, kind of a billboard. Um, anyways, everywhere, all of your radio shows, all of your advertisement, every office we go, we are going to program you to stay this feet away. You need to, so that you get so sick and tired of it and so normal to it, you just go along with it. But then also so sick and tired of it that when we say, hey, Garrett knows we got a vaccine. We got a vaccine for you guys. Make all this go away. All we need you to do is take the vaccine. Oh, well, it's not mandatory. No, silly you. No, you don't have to get it, but you're not going to be allowed to fly or work or go to the store or uh, pretty much leave your house if you don't have it. But it's not mandatory. I mean, let's not get all weird totalitarian or anything on you. Let's not get all China on you, right? It's not mandatory. This is what's happening. And unless we do, as I mentioned earlier, Stronger together, where we go one, we go all united. We're all in this together. The only thing we're all in this together on is freedom and liberty, constitutional value, and your Bill of Rights. We're all in that together. That's nonpartisan. Think about it. The Constitution is nonpartisan. And we let these shithole Republicans and Democrats, we let them make us separated and fighting one another. That's what they fucking want. They want us fighting one another. That's what they want. They want us fighting one another. They don't want us coming together. They don't want Democrats and Republicans coming together and saying, wait a minute, you're ass raping me and I don't want to be ass raped right now. No, who's the one who, you think I'm full of shit? Who's the one who who passed the uh, um, amendment, right? Or who, who stuck into the new Freedom Act? Let's call it the Freedom Act. It blows my mind where they can now legally, the FBI can look at your browser. We already know they were looking at our browsers before and whatnot. We already get that, right? But now they legally can do it. Who passed that? Who added that? No, it was a Republican-controlled Senate that passed that. 
Who was the actual the people who wanted to get that up? Who was wanting to get that removed? Had an amendment that wanted to pass an amendment that said, no, you cannot have the FBI looking at people's browsers. Who was that? Oh, that's right. It was a Democrat. Oh, I thought Democrats could never do anything good. They've never once done a damn thing good. Well, I'll tell you what. They actually sometimes have some good thoughts. That is one of them right there. So let's quit fucking being hyper-partisan divided right now and hating Democrats and hating Republicans and doing all this shit. Quit that fucking shit. Quit it. Let's come together and let's say, no, no. Screw you, man, who's trying to take my rights. Screw you, media, who's trying to program me. Screw you. I'm not do. We're not doing this. We're coming together and we're going to not comply. We're not going to comply. That's what we need to do. That's what will make a difference. That's what will see things change. If we raise our fists and we raise our hands and we say, nope, we're not going to take this anymore. We're not taking this anymore. No. If you want to get vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. But you will not force me either either by soft mandatory or hard mandatory rules. You will not force me to, vi- the, 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 to, to do something that violates the Constitution and my Bill of Rights and my liberties. You will not do that. And again, if you get vaccinated, why are you worried about anybody else not being vaccinated? If you wear a mask, why are you worried about somebody not wearing a mask? You are inoculated. So if somebody wants to kill themselves, their body, their choice, right? My final message in all this, drive time with Steven, angry rants. Maybe that's what I need to start calling him because I am angry right now. I am angry with what's going on. And I feel like we all should be angry. And I'm, I'm kind of like shocked at the people who are a little calm with this. Like, yeah, well, you know, it's just kind of, I feel like we need to get people a little freaking pissed off of what's going on. Don't get normal. Don't, don't get comfortable. Why are you comfortable with this? Why are you comfortable with having to obey these rules and these laws that are anti constant that are that, that are non constitu anti constitutional that are against the Constitution that are against the Bill of Rights that are mind effing you that are mind effing you and conditioning and programming you to accept it. It's the new normal. We're all stronger together. Where we go on, we go all. We're better together. We're all in this together. It's okay. Obey. Wear the mask. Stay six feet away. It's okay. Ooh, virus scary. Bad. Don't. Ooh, ah. Wake the fuck up. You're being MK ultra right now. You're being programmed right now by the constant media and by your lying ass politicians. And Trump had better get on his ass and do something about this and quit playing the F along. And I'm going to push back on him. And if you don't like that, I'm pushing back on Trump when he's letting this shit go. He's letting certain things go. He's saying, hey, good news, guys. We're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. She's dying. It's going to be great. We're just going to inject you with a bunch of little nanobots. Bill Gates is behind it, but don't worry. It's going to be all good. If that doesn't bother you, don't know what is. I am, I'm staying consistent with who I am. If you're going along with this, when Trump is doing things he shouldn't be doing right now, then you're the one who's not being consistent. So you can leave my channel if you're pissed off that I'm touching Trump, that I'm saying anything negative against Donald Trump. Ooh, don't want to hurt Donald Trump. Don't want to talk about Donald Trump. Everyone knows I support him. Everyone knows I didn't vote for him in the beginning, but I have supported him the last three years. And I even supported him when he first started with this whole thing. At this point, at this point, he better get on, he better get on his, uh, uh, game a little bit and do what, do what he needs to do. Because if he doesn't, he's, it's going to be game over for him. And I'm, I know a lot of, well, I don't, I guess I shouldn't say that. People won't support him because it seems like people do. Seems like even when he does stupid shit, people are just like, well, well, what he can do? Hmm. And he's trying. He can't do it because he's got all these people pushing against him. Hmm. Yeah, he's the president. That happens. Yeah, that happens. That's why we liked him. Why is he going along with it? Why has he got these fuck faces around him? I don't know. Anyways, drive time with Steven. Without fear... But I do got some animus right now. I don't know if it's animus. I got anger. Is that the same thing? I'll have to look that up. I got some anger with what's going down. I got some anger. 
I got some animus towards uh, towards the glo the globalists. Yeah, the authoritarian, totalitarian regimes that are pushing this shit upon us. Yeah, guess I do got some animus towards them. Democrat, Republican, every uh, uh, average everyday Joe citizens. I got no animus against you. I'm fired up. Everyone knows. Anybody who knows me knows me. I get fired up, and this is why I, I spout. Um. So. Anyways, without fear, I got some animus on this one. Open your eyes, push back, don't comply. We'll talk to you later. Sestra G, bye.